All right, hello everyone. Uh, I just finished uh, working on another computer, the one that you see right there. And of course it's on the screen there. So yes, uh, you know, within next year, Windows 10 will be discontinued. So this machine was clean from the day uh, I got it, which was yesterday. And uh, so this customer needed a Windows 11 upgrade. Now, of course, now, uh, these sort of machines, this one here, I believe is not officially supported, um, but I went and did it anyway, because uh, yeah, Microsoft, there's no reason why they, they should have blocked it for this machine. It is perfectly fine. The performance is wonderful. Anyways, uh, so I did the uh, Windows 11 upgrade. I also added a v VLC uh, media player, which allows you to watch uh, DVDs and stuff like that, because yeah, media, uh, player on Windows no longer supports that. Uh, I think from Windows 10, uh, they removed that feature. I also added CC Cleaner. Um, now, I think some people have uh, ran away from using that software. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I still use it. It seems to work well for me, and if there's any issues with that, hey, let me know. I'd like to know. Um, I also installed uh, malware bytes as well, which a lot of people still use, and I continue to use it to this day. I also installed uh, Super Anti Spyware just to get that little extra, you know, clean in there. And um, last but not least, I also installed um, Rust Desk, which is uh, equivalent to using TeamViewer. Uh, but the difference here is TeamViewer now. Uh, I believe they put a time on how long you can use it. And what I mean by this is if I'm going to be working on somebody's computer remotely, they will put a timer on it and for how long I can use it. And then I have to ask the person again to do, uh, connect to their computer. Uh, it's either that or I believe uh, they will force you to pay to use their software. Where Rust Desk is essentially the same thing as TeamViewer, but completely free. Now, of course, with this software, you have to be reminded that um, there is scammers out here there that will use that sort of software and you have to be cautious with who is going to connect to your computer. So, yeah, we uh, you you have to be able to uh, talk to these um, to the person that is going to be working on your computer or I've at least met, uh, met them. And uh, this customer has met me. So, uh, yeah, he put trust in me, which is great. Now, of course, I'm going to take a look back there and see what else I have on there. Um, I, I installed a LibreOffice, which I, I feel is a essential thing for people who, you know, want to be able to do uh, normal uh, document work, um, Excel sort of stuff, ETC. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, the best equivalent to Microsoft Office, which you have to pay for, is LibreOffice, which is completely free. And everybody is starting to run that route now. So yes, this was the computer work I had to do today. I am very, very happy with what I have done. And I believe the customer will be as well. The performance is beautiful. It runs great. We've got here uh, an i5-4 uh, series. Uh, I'm not sure exactly which one it is again, but I mean, like, yeah, it's a 4,000 uh, series uh, i5. This thing runs beautiful. It's got uh, 16 gigs of DDR, uh, I think, 3 RAM. Yeah, I think that's what um, the 4000 series ran off of. Um, yeah, so I, I'm just happy that uh, I took the time to work on this machine. And uh, this customer is going to be uh, really happy with what they got. Now, I think uh, with this kind of customer, I may also be working on his laptop as well. So... We'll see what goes on there. But anyways, yes, just wanted to let you know the work I've done on this machine. And I hope to get more in the future. Take care and bye for now. Don't forget that like and the subscribe.